अमर सेल्स गुड्स टू वोला फॉर टेन थाउजेंड एंड ड्रॉ अपन ही मे बिल फॉर द अमाउंट पेबल थ्री मंथ्स आफ्टर डेट हेन्स इन द बुक्स ऑफ भोला दैट इज परचेज अकाउंट डेबिटेड टू अमर पिंग गुड्स परचेज एंड क्रेडिट फ्रॉम अमर फॉर रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड इच देन इन द बुक्स ऑफ अमर भोला डेबिटेड टू सेल्स अकाउंट बींग गुड्स सोल्ड एंड क्रेडिट टू भोला एंड ड्रॉइंग अपन हिम फॉर द अमाउंट पेबुल थ्री मंथ्स आफ्टर डेट इन द बुक्स ऑफ भोला अमर डेबिटेड टू बिल्स पेबुल अकाउंट बींग द एक्सेप्टेंस गिविंग टू अमर रुपीज टेन थाउजेंड ईच एंड बोथ डेबिट एंड क्रेडिट कलम्स इन द बुक्स ऑफ अमर बिल्स रिसीवेबल अकाउंट डेबिटेड टू भोला बींग द एक्सेप्टेंस ऑफ भोला रिसीव Hence, uh, this is bills receivable to Bhola, being the acceptance of Bhola received ten thousand, ten thousand. Now get back to the question. Amar discounts the bill with his banker's at a discount of one hundred fifty, inclusive of all charges. That is in the books of Amar. Bank account debit nine eight five zero, discount account debit one hundred fifty rupees. So bills receivable account ten thousand, being the bill discounted at bank. For this there will be no entry in the books of Bhola. Now again the question: Bhola fails to meet the bill on maturity, and Amar paid just his banker's his expenses amounting to rupees hundred. That is, and the due date the bill is dishonored in the books of Bhola. That is bills payable account debited rupees. Ten thousand, noting charges account debited rupees hundred to Amar rupees ten thousand one hundred, being acceptance given to Amar dishonored. Now in the books of Amar, it will be Bhola to bank that will be ten thousand one hundred bill value plus noting charges, being the acceptance of Bhola discounted at bank dishonored because the bill was at the bank and dishonored. Hence. Holder in the due course bank paid rupees hundred as noting charges. Hence, Bhola debited to bank. Now, after that, Bhola gives a fresh bill for two months. Before that, it says Amar pays of his banker and his expenses amounting to hundred. Hence, Amar has to pay the bill value ten thousand plus rupees hundred as expenses. That is, Bhola debited to cash. Sorry, bank debited to cash in the books of Amar. Amar has to pay the banker. That is bank account debited to cash on, and interest will be due for the rest hundred fifty rupees. And gives a fresh bill for two months to Amar for rupees ten thousand two fifty, which is met at maturity. Hence, in the books of Bhola, that is interest account debited to Amar. Being interest due to Amar, hundred fifty, hundred fifty. In the books of Amar, that is Bhola debited to interest account. Being interest due due from Bhola. Now on ten thousand one hundred rupees, Amar has to charge interest on Bhola. Hence interest was made due. Then new bill will be drawn at ten thousand two hundred fifty. In the books of Bhola, Amar debited to bills payable account. Being the renewed acceptance given to Bhola. That is ten thousand bill value, hundred was the noting charge, one hundred fifty is for interest. That is ten thousand two hundred fifty. That is Amar debited to bills payable account, being the renewed acceptance given to Amar. And in the books of Amar, that is bills receivable account debited to Bhola, being the renewed acceptance of Bhola received, including interest and noting charges. And in the books of Bhola. Now, Amar has to pay the banker. That is ten thousand two hundred fifty. That is bank account debited to cash account. Being the final amount, final due of the bank paid for dishonored bill. Amar paid to the bank. This amount should be ten thousand one hundred because immediately Amar is paying the banker. That should be bank account debited to cash account ten thousand one hundred. And in the books of Bhola, there will be no entry. He is no way concerned with the bank. You have to just rectify this this amount ten thousand one hundred. And in the due date, 
the last line of the question which was made at maturity second last line which he made at maturity that is bills payable account debited to cash account 10250 being renewed acceptance made at maturity this may renewed acceptance was kept with amar till the end hence amar will be receiving the money amar will be receiving cash account debited to bills receivable account rupees 10250 being the amount received from bhola for his renewed acceptance now total the general that is for amar it is 71000 minus 150 and for bhola the totaling will be 50750 this is your final answer